hello, hello, and welcome to episode 145 of Prog Review. Yes, indeed. And today I'm talking about the new Anthony Phillips Private Parts and Pieces 11 album, City of Dreams. Oh yes, but before I start blabbering on, I'm going to hand over to my good friend Darren, who will show you what it all looks like. Take it away, Darren. Why, thank you, Darren. And yes, this is Anthony Phillips Private Parts and Pieces 11, City of Dreams. It's a rather... Hmm... Interesting album cover. I'm not sure I'm a fan of it. Much prefer the um, old Peter Cross illustrations myself. But um, yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble reading the uh, the lettering on the back. Um, they don't they don't they don't design these things for people with uh, with uh, myopia. Not that I've got myopia, but they could make it a little bit clearer. It's not very legible. In fact, I don't like this design at all. It looks like someone has just vomited on the CD sleeve, but um, yeah, it's a bit, hmm. and then yeah, minimal design inside, just an open booklet there, not getting a lot for your money, <laughs> but then, you know, there's not a lot to it, so the art and layout was put down by Mark Wilkinson, I think you might be familiar with his work, uh, the usual thing. But yeah, if you want to check out Peter Cross's uh, 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 website, he's got a new website out at the moment with all these old Anthony Phillips uh, things. But anyway, there's CD. Take it away, Darren. Well, I think you'll agree that was informative as ever. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, Anthony Phillips uh, was the original um, lead guitarist with uh, Genesis. I don't know if you've heard of that particular beat combo. And um, yeah, after... Trespass, he went off and uh, has had a solo career mainly in the field of um, TV music. Um, Programmes like Survival, uh, Nature of Documentaries, that kind of thing. You, you, you may, have, you may be, have heard of his music if you've watched ITV. Um, and his career has kind of been quite different compared to his uh, contemporaries from Genesis. Um, not much had much not had much uh, commercial success, but very successful, like I said, in in TV music and uh, you know that kind of thing. Um, now he tends to have two strands of albums working. He does do like studio recordings, like Geese and the, Geese and the Ghost and, and and things like that. But he also has this second strand. The Private Parts and Pieces album, which are, are, are quite different. They, they tend to consist of demos or maybe recordings that were you know didn't fit on a, on an album so he tends to release them you know under this banner private parts and pieces and um we're up to number 11 my goodness and it's been something like 12 years since the last one which was um a soiree which was all keyboards i believe all piano led um yeah i mean this one crept on me i, I, did, I forgot i forgot it was coming out and it was out this week, and um, didn't have any preconceptions of it. So um, yeah, I've been giving it a listen, and again, it's one of those it's one of those records that um, I'd say for the, one of the, for the fans only. I'm afraid. Um, again, my my problem with um, the private parts of pieces album as they've gone on over the years, um, they've lost a lot of their their character. I think the last decent one for me that spoke to me was New England. Uh, that was number eight, Private Parts of Pieces, eight, I believe. And um, as time's gone by, they've become more and more nebulous and you know hard to pin down. Now, City of Dreams, it's, it's all in the title, really. The, the piece is on it, and there are something like 31 tracks, uh, all very dreamlike. They all tend to move at one speed. But then that's to expect, be expected because it's that kind of record, and they're all predominantly synthesizer based. You don't get a lot of guitar action on here. Now I'm more of a fan of Anthony Phillips, the guitarist, um, especially his twelve string playing. Uh, this is more Anthony Phillips, the synth slash keyboard player. So you know you get lots of 
synthesizer washes and pads and you know it's all it's all very nice stuff it's all very meditative um but again it's all kind of shapeless and dreamlike at the same time uh so again it's not it's not going to grab you if you if you're unfamiliar with his work you're going to think well, well, well this is a bit dull you know you get me um but saying that i mean it's always good to have a new uh, private parts and pieces compilation come out. I mean, you know, come on, Ant. It's you know, t- twelve years between between uh, releases. My God, mind you, where's the time gone? <laughs> That's the concerning thing, because it doesn't seem that long ago that I first listened to Soiree. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, there's nothing on this album that really steps out. I mean, there's a bit of uh, interesting guitar playing on King of the Mountains, where he almost seems to be channeling uh, David Gilmore, which is quite interesting and the um, the city of dreams piece that runs through it there are how many different versions of it four four versions are they kind of kind of got a kind of chimey 12 string quality about them uh but again these things these these very like i say very gentle very meditative music you know something you could put on to ease your night's sleep so yeah, one one for the fans. Unfortunately, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to you if you if you're first Anthony Phillips record. So you know when it comes to a to a rating, again it's a big record. It's quite long. It's, it's quite a long one. Thirty one tracks. It's about seventy minutes, I believe. He's filled a CD, which is again a bit of a bugbear of mine. So I'm not a point off for that, but in terms of rating, I'm going to give this uh, two pile drivers out of five. That's two pile drivers out of five. That's basically because it's just, you know, it's there's not a lot to it really. It's it's very very. I hate to say it, bland. It's all you know, moves at one speed. I mean, there's some nice pieces on there, but you know, it's not. It's one of those records that. It's too much of it. If this had been rec- released in the 70s, it would have been, I don't know, 45 minutes or 44 minutes, and it would have um, been a lot easier to bear. And, um, you know, I'm not a great fan of his um, synthesizer work. So that's it, really. Um, so my name's been Darren Locke, and I've been talking about Anthony Phillips and his new release, Private Parts and Pieces 11, City of Dreams. Oh, yes. And... Uh, You've been a, a wonderfully patient audience for listening to me burble on as per usual. Uh, you know, subscribe, unsubscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, social media. You know the message. You know you know the score. Oh, yes, and uh, there's only one more thing to say, and you know what that is too, don't you? Because we've all, we've all done this 144 times before. Are you ready? Prog on.